lovelies and welcome back to Unspoken Words. So today I am going to be trying out the rice water and I am going to be doing it a little bit differently um, to what people usually do when it comes to trying out um, or testing the rice water. Usually what is done is that they will use it as a deep conditioning or protein treatment as they're washing out their hair. Um, but I'm going to try it as a leave-in um, leave conditioner, yeah. It's not really a conditioner because it's a protein treatment, but it's just a leave-in anyway, um, and see how it goes. Now, <laughs> my hair is low porosity, so this is going to be very interesting because I have already tried rice water before and I didn't exactly do it the way that I was supposed to, so it ended up doing, I ended up having a lot of shedding, even though there was growth, there was also a lot of shedding for me. Um, so when whilst i'm trying what so what i plan to do is basically do it once a week so i'll spray the rice water on my hair once a week i'm going to do this for a whole month that's going to be four times for the whole month and then i'm going to come back to you guys and show you guys basically what i have um done and how it looks and how it feels and just basically review it um a lot in a lot more detail um than the detail that i usually see um on YouTube so yeah I did the yeah the yeah yahoo yeah yeah woman um the yeah woman way and I use a youtuber um to help me to kind of do this I'll show you guys a little snippet um later on of um things that I did but the full video of um the full video that I use to make my um the Yao Women rice water. I will link the YouTuber that I used um, in the description box so that you guys can check it out and if that's what you guys want to use then you can use it. But yeah so I'm going to measure my hair. I'm going to do I think to this side. It's going to look so weird. Um, I'll do this side. I'm going to show you what my the, the I'm going to take it down with some even conditioner so that I'm not doing too much breaking so what I plan to do for um, this this kind of experiment is that I will use exactly the same way that I normally wash my hair um, I wash my hair twice a week, twice a month so once every two two weeks is when I wash my hair so I'm gonna do exactly the same process gonna use exactly the same um, shampoo and conditioner that I usually use I'm not gonna change it so that I know and when I'm testing it it's gonna be more of a fair test shall we say what rice water does especially when it's fermented is that it closes the cuticle um, and my cuticles are already closed or fairly closed that's why it can be quite hard to absorb products so um it's gonna be very interesting to see i'm just kind of doing this so that you guys can see as well and um yeah you see the process so i have marked my shirt in inches never mind this part um it just wasn't working so this is the way it's gonna go because the thing is with the t-shirt it is slanted anyway when it was designed it's not like a straight we're just gonna have to work with it as is so my hair right now is this is my right hand this is the right side of my head and it is if you guys can see just only just touching the four inches here now the front of my hair is I want to say about an inch um, after my chin is <laughs> and that's how it looks that's how much hair is going So for the left side of my head, 
it is here which is just above the four inches mark so I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Did I measure? I didn't do that, guys. Oh no, I'm going to do this again. Um, so for the back of my hair, if I go... So the back of my hair is... I don't know, just because it's closer to the... to my shoulders because obviously the back um but yeah it's here which is if that is four five six this is six inches um for the back of my hair so this is the cup of rice i use with the lemon and i use one lemon peel removed or separated the peel from the actual lemon to use for the rice water and yeah and this rice this particular rice that i used is basmati rice and i put the, again i'll put a link in the description box of the video that i you i followed um to do this now i am boiling everything for 10 minutes um, as the video says and we'll continue with what the video says for me to do so I just want to do a quick update about this um, it's currently is the 26th of September is the first day I'm starting this month um, trial of rice water um, with the Yao woman method um, and I used like I said before um, the peel that I use is lemon and it actually really makes it smell really nice then again it's only the first day so um, I'll let you know later on if the lemon if it still smells because there's still like a very small hint of rice water that 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 you know fermented rice water smell um, but there's the lemon is very strong um, but I'll let you know later on like in a week's time or at the end of it if um, the lemon is overpowering it or not so um i am just enjoying a nice walk right now but i thought i would come and just quickly kind of say um what it is that i plan to do because of course i told you guys about the fact that i'm going to be doing the rice sauce challenge and i hope you guys can hear me um but what i've decided i'm going to do is that because rice water is a sealant um, it only makes sense for me to do a moisturizer first so um, if you guys already see my video of the fenugreek and the aqua gel um, I'm gonna be doing that and then I'm gonna be applying my leave-in conditioner and then I'm gonna use the rice water and so I want to see I think I might increase the the time that I do it from one week to oh from once a week to twice a week um, just because I'm going to be doing it in that way um, I'm also going to be applying the greenhouse method so what I plan to do is I'll uh, apply the the fenugreek and aqua um, gel it's more like a serum because it's, it's not as thick um, but then I'll apply the leave-in and then I'll do the greenhouse method um, before I then decide to apply the rice water and I might go on further with the um, kind of like an extra protection with either oil or a petroleum based cream or hair grease basically um, and just see how it works and if it makes a lot better especially because I am low porosity and my hair is low porosity so it makes it kind of makes more sense for me to do um, do it this way and I think this might be a better way for doing things like this. so with rice water especially when you start to ferment it it's acts as a sealant that's why you know it helps with less breakage and things like that so it just makes sense to kind of swap it for my oils or my hair grease and just make it a little bit more make it make sense because you wouldn't use oil to as a moisturizer you wouldn't use hair grease um, on its own so why use rice water on its own so that's what I have decided to do 
um yeah so i'm gonna start going back walking back and so i can show you guys what i i plan to do with the rice water or how i plan to apply it because i've already applied it once um but i'm gonna try it. i'm gonna do it again i am going to be starting with water just applying water to wet my hair ideally it should be warm water but this was pretty room temperature pretty more the cold side than anything else so i'm going to oil my scalp to give myself a little bit of massage then i am going to section my hair it makes it easier to, and um for me to apply the product and to ensure that each strand actually gets the adequate amount of product on it so once i've sectioned i'm going to apply the Aquarinic and fenugreek leave-in and then the leave-in conditioner do the greenhouse method and then uh, then apply the rice water after I've done all the sections and then we just skip 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 so this is me just kind of skipping forward to show you what I'm going to be doing, um, all of this is just me applying the leave-in and the leave-in, the water, the leave-in, before I bag it. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> 